Welcome, Protégé. Now that we've finished conditional statements, we're going to switch to a new topic, which is prompting and taking user input from the command window. This is helpful when you have a list of operations that can be performed and the user wants to pick which one to run, or if you want to perform some calculations based on that user input. I already created a script called user input and already added the boilerplate code. I'm going to go over three examples. First example, we'll just demonstrate the syntax so you can get familiar with it. And we're just going to ask the user for one input number. Our next example is we're going to have a while one loop where we continuously ask the user for a number until they eventually say that they're tired of giving us numbers. And for the third example, we're going to ask the user to give us a vector of numbers and then we perform some calculation for all of those numbers that are provided. First we're going to tell the user what we need and we want to set this to a variable. I'm going to call this variable user input. And then we want to create a string that we want to tell the user. In this case we'll tell the user to enter a number. And then I like to use backslash n which is a new line character. And this character will automatically indent to the next line so we can enter our number. Then we want to read in the user input and perform some calculation. And to read in the input, you use a function called input. And then you pass in our previous variable that we used here. And then we can perform a calculation. Just going to add 5 to the user input. So we tell the user to enter a number. The user types a number. Then we, and we store that into our variable C. And then we add 5 to that number and write the result to B. Let's go ahead and run this. So notice that since we added the new line character, we, we do get the new line. Otherwise, it will, the cursor will stay up here. So let's just enter a number 10 and hit enter. And notice that our B variable now holds 15, which was our result of adding C plus 5. So that was a pretty simple example. Let's move on to our second example where we have a while one statement where we continuously ask the user for a number. I'm going to copy and paste some of the code from our first example. And then we want to ask the user if they would like to enter another number once we perform the calculation here. I'm going to create another variable called user input 2. And this is where we ask the user if they want to enter another number. Then I'll write the user's input to another variable. I'll use a in this case. And since we're asking the user for a string, y or n for yes or no, our second argument needs to be this s, since we're taking in string data. Then we need an if statement to see if the user entered yes or no. And for this if statement, I'm going to see if the user entered no. So then if the user does enter no, then we can go in here and break out of our while one. Otherwise, we'll just keep running the loop. And to compare the user input to a string for capital N or lowercase n, I'm going to use the string compare function. And that is str. CMP. So we're going to compare our A variable, which we set to our user input, and N. And I'm going to define this N as a lowercase n in our variable and matrix declaration section. And since we have the single quotes around this, N will become a string variable. So we're comparing strings A and N. If they are the same, then this will return a 1. 
and we know that one is true so we will go inside of this if if statement and then we can break out of the loop don't forget to add your ends going to run it again enter a number put a semicolon at the end here sometimes your code gets hung up if you don't enter any user input so just keep hitting control C to exit the code here I'm going to enter yes and it'll keep asking for a number as long as we don't type in a lowercase n so let's type in a lowercase n and see if the code finishes the code finishes going to add a semicolon here but what happens if instead of a lowercase n we put in a capital N I'm going to run the code again and let's put in a capital N and notice that we didn't go inside of the if statement even though we were done entering a number so to fix that we need to add another condition to our if statement and also add another variable in our variable declaration section for capital N and then we want to do the OR operator and do another string compare so if the input is lowercase n this will return true or if the user input is a capital N this will also return true so we will go into this if statement and then break out of the while loop so let's go ahead and give that a try 10 and type in capital N and sure enough we go into the if statement and finish executing the code that's it for example number two so let's move on to number three first I'm going to comment example two out in this example we're just going to take in a vector of numbers and then perform an operation on those elements this is similar to our first example we're just taking in multiple numbers this time then I'm just going to multiply each element by 10 oh, so notice I forgot to put the new line character here and notice that we have to enter numbers up here but I'm going to go back and stick our new line character in run this and just enter a row vector of numbers and it multiplies each element by 10 for a quick recap we went over three different examples ask, asking the user for input in the command window our first example was pretty simple we were just asking the user for one number and then we performed some calculation in our second example we did a while one loop where we kept asking the user to enter a number until they entered either capital N or lowercase n in that case we would break out of the while one loop and then our in our last example we asked the user for a row vector of elements and we performed a calculation on each element in the vector and that's it for this tutorial thank you for watching Please subscribe below or leave a question or comment.